So now, Tony Straka from AMP Institute, uh, AMP Institute uh, and also uh, uh, from, uh, cannabis patients from Vienna, Austria. Thank you. Yeah, thanks for the interest about the situation in Austria. We can rush through the slides more or less because I've already seen uh, the situation about Bedrocan and the cannabis on the pharmacy seems to be about the same in, uh, in Austria as it is in other European countries. <laughs> Uh, what needs to be done? First of all, potheads have a long tradition in Austria. Empress Maria Theresia, who reigned Austria in the 18th century, was prescribed cannabis against insomnia and all other general worries by her, uh, by her physician, Gerard van Zwieten. Uh, she left her mark in history by introducing a public schooling system in Austria. Um, that nice state held on for almost 200 years. Uh, still, until the 1920s, you could buy needle cigarettes in Austria, which had a cannabis content of up to 10%. Uh, whenever you read something that people were smoking Turkish cigarettes, it meant they were actually smoking some hashish cigarettes. <laughs> Bit back. Well, the status quo since 1962 is clear, and not much has changed. Cannabis has nevertheless become the third most used drug of choice after alcohol and nicotine. So prohibition doesn't work and has never worked. Um, key facts on Austria. We have about 500,000 occasional consumers, 500,000 regular consumers, meaning people who light up two or more times a week. Uh, what's also known, all Austrian uh, health services say cannabis is not the problem. It's actually alcohol in this country. Uh, and more than 90% of cannabis consumers here never develop any problems of any kind. Um, the law says um, consumption is technically non-punishable, but as uh, consumption means possessions as soon as you hold a joint, uh, it still is illegalized. Production of cannabis for medical uses is legal for state-controlled entities, and indeed there is one operating. Uh, they are producing uh, the cannabis that is synthesized into, into um, dronabinol in Germany. Uh, but the sale of the natural remedy in the form like, uh, like Bedrocan uh, itself is prohibited. Austria allows the sale of synthetic cannabis pharmaceuticals such as uh, Dronabinol and Sativex with a prescription from a licensed physician. While it's illegal to grow cannabis with the intent to produce the psycho uh, psychoactive cannabinoid THC, Austrians can purchase cannabis seeds and seedlings legally. Yeah, only THC is prohibited, but none of the other hundreds of cannabinoids, which have led to a situation in Austria where home growing is probably the most prevalent form of acquiring cannabis, which we also consider the best system as you have the best quality control. It's like with the vegetables in the garden, you just take care of them. Uh, based on data from Colorado, which are now the first reliable data from a country where, uh, where there is no more prohibition, says there's actually 200,000 Austrians that could qualify as medical cannabis patients. Um, the situation right now is not satisfactory, of course. Uh, what patients get is dronabinol or Sativex with a prescription, but there's one setback. Yeah? If your health insurance does not reimburse you for this, you would, uh, you are able to uh, spend up to 20 times of the money on a legal cannabinoid from the pharmacy, as if you'd go out here and within a 500 meters from here, I guarantee you, you'll find the same amount of THC uh, for only a tenth or twentieth of the cost. So that's the question: Who of us wants to spend a thousand on a synthetic derivative uh, if you can have the same natural remedy for 100? Yeah. It's quite self-explaining. Um, what they get and what they want, that's the big difference, is uh, all the um, uh, patients I've talked to and who get drawn up in all or Sativex, and without any exceptions, they all say they prefer natural weed or most of them the cannabis oil uh, uh, over any of the synthetic products. And zero deaths in 10,000 years make it, quite the safe, uh, make it quite a safe medicine. So what has to be done in Austria, or what's the priority? First of all, decriminalize possession, yeah? uh, and decriminalize it in an effective way, like leave people alone who are just growing this as a medicine for their own personal use. Yeah? Allow home growth for patients or a caregiver, because some patients are simply too sick to, produce, uh, to grow their own weed, yeah? so they need a caregiver. 
I mean, where I know the system like in Canada that works fine. Yeah, whoever has a doctor's recommendation um, to use wheat for the treatment of his ailments. In the medium term, we'd also like to see the development of non-profits, uh, grow cooperatives like cannabis social clubs. Some of them have formed in Austria. The one in Vienna is actually quite active to the point that they publicly say we are producing uh, weed in order to make cannabis oil from it and we give it to patients. They've been on record with this now for nine months. There has not been any actions by authorities uh, and we hope it stays this way. Actually, we think they work on a morally ver very high ground. Uh, they are providing the ideal care, care and treatment for sick persons. Uh, persons. In the long term, uh, we certainly need to rewrite Austrian drug laws according to scientific evidence. Yeah, I mean, a lot of it, um, a lot of the drugs listed there yeah, have just been copy pasted um, from the international conventions, but they don't belong there. And we should keep on the pressure and do it fast because every day without legal access to medical cannabis is another day of pain and sickness for patients. Uh, what will be the benefits of legalizations? Yeah, as because we always have this pun here, as the minister also says, oh yes, we have therapy instead of punishment. Yeah, we also want this and we want therapy with medical cannabis, with natural cannabis, instead of punishing people for doing exactly this. Uh, benefit would also be self-growing, as said before, guarantees the best quality control. Uh, if you do it for yourself or if you grow for friends, you just want to provide them with the best uh, possible product. Uh, also, because of this situation that you can go to a shop and buy a grow box and buy the seedlings next door, um, patients here have decided to take it into their own hands and produce their medicine of choice at home. Just make it legal, take away the fear of any kind of pro uh, prosecution. Uh, in a first step to decriminalize patients would also be those who need it most. Yeah? Uh, once they are decriminalized and we have people who are legally allowed to smoke a cannabis in Austria, that would allow more studies on any negative or positive effects. Of course, I'm not talking here very much about the positive and negative effects. Everybody else does that. And then, as we can see, uh, it's as the sale of uh, seeds and seedlings is legal, uh, it is actually quite a rapidly growing industry. Uh, and it's estimated that Austria uh, is producing anywhere bit, uh, between 150 and 250 tons of weed in the end. In, uh, in, uh, in the end. Uh, what can't be said if all this is, is, uh, remains in Austria because we know a lot of the seedlings and the seeds go into the export and are brought to flowering in other countries. Uh, and it would have one benefit for the state as well. We are talking about a tax reform in Austria. Uh, we're not finding any money. Well, here is one point where people would be more than happy uh, if they could pay a tax in exchange for not being criminalized anymore. Let's not forget it's a nutritious plant, so let's treat it like one and let's not make the whole uh, debate too scientific. Um, yeah, brand new developments. The Austrian justice minister surprised even me by coming out uh, by saying, yes, he will decriminalize small possession. Well, details are not yet available, and that has a reason. Uh, there are not many more details. Basically, he just uh, reassured the stance that, uh, yes, small-term possession will not be punished as hard as sales. Uh, but the general climate in Austria is shifting. When I started lobbying for cannabis, uh, we had only two parties in parliament who were silently considering such a move. All this has changed in the last two years, and all six parties represented in Parliament have shifted their stance on a decriminalization of medical cannabis and recreational cannabis to varying degrees since the legalization in Colorado. Well, they certainly find broad public support. One out of uh, four out of five Austrians support legal cannabis, and it's 95% who have no problem with legalized medi uh, medical cannabis. Uh, as said before, it, legalization would also help the budget, and I think that's also now a main driver here. Austria will not be able to afford anything else than legalization, as it could bring a 500 million euros in already the first year of legalization. Um, we also, this confirms the broad support. Uh, there is a citizens' parliamentary initiative which can be signed online. 
that has by now almost 30,000 signees. Um, it's still open to sign. It's running on. We have first expected that this initiative would get a first degree burial in Parliament quite soon. That's actually not happening, so the debate is on. Uh, and as we think uh, it could become a major topic in future, in future elections because here would be a law change that would actually benefit up to a million Austrians. I think that would be interested, uh, could be interesting for Austrian political parties to go for voter fishing in this area. Until then, um, sort of the situation remains unchanged. Cannabis patients growing their own supply are still under threat of criminal conviction. But we see a lot of side benefits already happening. Home growing of cannabis has reduced organized crime in the cannabis market that's now dominated by small scale gardeners, you know, people with a grow box where they grow 20 plants or so that makes roughly 400 grams and that's enough for them and for their friends, yeah. Uh, we also notice product quality has overall markedly improved. Yeah? There's only excellent weed on the market in Vienna because everybody's just trying to improve his gardening skills. So medical cannabis is a most urgent issue, as said. Every day of delay is another day of suffering. So please help end the needless suffering of the weakest in society, the sick. Thank you very much. Thank you.